friends, it's Alexa and I'm here today to do my middle of the month recap for October. October has actually been a pretty busy month already. At the very beginning of it, I had New York Comic Con which I went to for three days and I will link to the vlog and the haul down below. And this week I've just been preparing because I'm going away on a weekend trip with my friend Danica to Orlando, which is gonna be really, really fun for us both. But today I'm here to talk about the books that I read in the first half of the month. And I'm really excited because a lot of these books are books that I truly enjoyed and I think a lot of you would as well. So. Let's get started. When the Moon Was Ours by Anna Marie McLemore, and this is the sophomore novel from her. I absolutely adored her first novel, The Weight of Feathers, and I loved her second novel just as much. It's basically about a boy named Sam who is trying to figure out what to do, what choice to make um, about his own life. And there's a girl named Miel who is considered odd because she's kind of got a rose growing out of her wrist and her hems are always dripping and she has a lot to confront and deal with in her past. And together these two are going through a lot but throw in four sisters who are called witches in their town and the plot thickens. And it's just such a great story guys. I just fell in love with that story completely. I really think that Anna Marie has such a strong voice in her writing. She's always able to combine like the whimsy of magic and imagination together with like these very real situations and conflicts and feelings that a lot of people might have gone through. And I fell in love with Sam and with Miel and their conflicts. I just fell in love with it completely and I absolutely enjoyed it. And I would highly recommend you guys check that one out. I gave that one a 4.75 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read is the one book from my TBR that I have already read this month and that book is Furthermore by Tahara Muffy. This is her debut middle grade novel. It's about a girl named Alice and she is the only person that lacks color in a world where color symbolizes how much magical ability you have. And she's determined to prove that she is worthy of being assigned a task and having to do to earn the regard of her village. But then her plans change when a boy named Oliver enlists her help in order to find her father who's been missing for three years. And they go on this crazy adventure in another world called Furthermore and yes, it's very Alice in Wonderland from there. And I really, really enjoyed this book. I loved the oddity of it. I liked how weird and whimsical Muffy's world got in the story. And I also really enjoyed the simplicity of what Alice was going through the entire time that this story was playing out. She had a lot of internal conflict to deal with, both with herself and with the situations that she was in. And I think that it was woven very well into this storyline. As always, I really like Tara's writing style and I look forward to reading more, hopefully middle grade, hopefully YA. I don't really care what it is as long as there's more. I ended up giving this one a four out of five stars. Next, I read Our Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland and this is a YA contemporary that's sort of an unconventional love story. It's about a boy named Henry Page who has never really been in love or had a crush or anything like that. All that changes when a girl named Grace Town um, appears in his world and she basically changes his life forever. And it is a love story but it's also more than a love story which I appreciated. I didn't quite love this one as much as I was hoping to however just because I couldn't really connect with any of the characters and I also felt like at times it reminded me a little too much of other stories I had already read. But I thought overall it was very interesting. I liked the sass in it and I liked some of the secondary characters quite a fair bit. I give this one a 2.5 out of 5 stars. Next I read Blood Red Snow White by Marcus Sedgwick and this is a story that was inspired by the true story of Arthur Ransom who was a British individual. He was a reporter but he was assigned to Russia and he was there in the middle of the brewing war and he got involved with that. And Sedgwick actually combines it with a sort of fairy tale telling and it actually works. Like it kept me very interested. I was really curious to see how Arthur's story would end and the only thing that kept me from rating it any higher was because it felt very dry in terms of the narrative. The voice was very hard to connect with and the timelines actually kind of get confusing at first because you're not quite sure what you're reading. But in the end, it was definitely one of those stories that made me think. It was definitely a story that just kept me on tenterhooks until I discovered what Arthur would do and what would happen to him. I ended up giving this one a solid three stars. I liked it. It wasn't my favorite from him, um, but I thought it was something interesting and unique, which is what I've come to expect from Marcus Cedric. And then I read Beautiful Blue World by Suzanne Lafleur, and this is a 
another story set in a place where there's a war going on, only in this one they're recruiting children for a special reason. And you actually find out what's really going on in this book, but it centers around two friends, Megs and Mathild, and they end up separated because of this whole um, using the children for the war effort. And I I like this one, I did. I thought it was I thought it was easy to read. I flew through this fairly quickly. I just felt like it lacked a little bit of development when it when it comes to the plot because I felt like everything was a little bit too harried and too rushed. I did not realize it was the first in a series because apparently there's going to be another book. So there is that to look out for in case you guys were looking into reading this one. And I gave this one a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Guys, I'm super excited to show you the next book and it is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Yes, I have read it and it is really good. This is a sort of story inspired by a character from Alice in Wonderland and the character in question is the Queen of Hearts. And this is basically like an alternate origin story for her or an actual origin story for her. I don't even know if she actually has another origin story. But once again, Marissa Meyer manages to write a story that is fantastical, that also makes you feel things for the character and it's just really whimsical and fun. She integrated a ton of characters and elements and situations from the Alice in Wonderland story, which I absolutely loved. It's really great, guys, and I actually talked about it more in my review, which I sh will share a link to down below. And you guys can also check out my 27 Days to Heartless video where I show you how I made a crazy hat. I gave Heartless a 4.75 out of 5 stars. Following that, I read Glitter by April and Pike, and I believe this is the first of a duology. And this was pitched to me as Marie Antoinette meets Breaking Bad. And it is about a girl named Danica who is destined to be married to the king, who, which she wants to escape from. And so in order to earn the money she needs to earn her freedom, she basically decides to become a drug dealer and start selling a drug only known as Glitter. And the thing about this book is I expected to enjoy it. I didn't expect to enjoy it quite as much as I did, which was a pleasant surprise. It was so interesting. The world was so interesting because it was a blend of the modern and the uh, historical time periods. And it was also really interesting to see how the situation just spiraled out of control. By the end of this book, I was like dying to know what would happen next. And now I'm just gonna have to wait until the next book, which is terrible. I think people who enjoyed The Thousandth Floor, Gossip Girl, will probably enjoy this one as well. I give this one a 3.75 out of 5 stars. And the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys is something that I'm actually in the middle of reading, but I'm sure I'm gonna love it because I already do. And it is this particular volume of Doctor Who. These are the 10th Doctor Adventures Year 2, and this edition, this volume is called The Endless Song. This is basically a comic series that features the Doctor, the 10th Doctor, and he has a different companion in it. Her name is Gabby Gonzalez, and there's a whole other story brewing in here. Can't really talk too much about the plot because it is kind of spoiler because this is volume four. And yes, I started in the middle, but it's fine because this is Doctor Who. Um, I just really enjoy seeing that there are so many more stories that could be told with Doctor Who and that we are taking advantage of these other mediums to do so. It is such an enjoyable thing and I'm so glad that Mackie got this out of the library for me to read. There you have it, guys. These plus one more book, is all that I read in the first half of the month. If you guys have read any of these, I would love to hear your thoughts. If you're looking forward to them or have questions about them, I would be more than happy to answer in the comments. And I will see you guys for another video soon. Feel free to hit me up on all my other social media links down below. Bye!